green fodder is staple feed for dairy animals. It provides the required nutrients for milk production and for good health of dairy animals. Not only dairy but all farm animals and birds including hens and ducks love the green fodder. One acre of land can grow fodder only for three cows. But the majority of farmers in India have farm holdings smaller than five acres. Since the farmers in India depend heavily on rainfall for their farming there is serious shortage of green fodder especially after February. Cost of green fodder has increased three times between 2011 and 2016. India faces green fodder deficit of 63% and there will be 65% green fodder deficit by 2030. Most of Marathawada runs out of green fodder by the month of February. Rajasthan recently banned diversion of husk for non-agricultural use. This serious issue of drought and green fodder can be addressed by the dairy farmers by using open-air hydroponic fodder system. In such a system in just 500 square feet area it is possible to grow enough fodder to feed at least 50, Indian dairy cows. Three trays of fodder can feed one cow or six goats, or 162 chickens or 30 rabbits. Indian cows can be maintained exclusively on green fodder. Inclusion of green fodder in ration of dairy animals decreases amount of concentrate feeding and thus increases profit. Therefore, fodder production round the year is highly essential. Forage quality and animal milk production has positive significant correlation for successful dairy business. Hydroponic fodder is awesome and is loved by all farm animals. Chickens, goats, ducks, sheep, pigs and cow, all love it. So what is hydroponics? Usually plants grow in soil. But soil is not necessary for plants to grow. Plants can be grown in water too. Hydroponic fodder cultivation is the cultivation of fodder with water and seeds and without the help of soil. It is soil-less cultivation. There are four basic types of hydroponic systems. Wick system, water culture system, ebb and flow system also known as flood and drain system. And finally aeroponic system. There are hundreds of variation based on these basic types of systems. But all hydroponic methods are a variation, or combination, of these four. For hydroponic fodder there is no need for nutrients to be added to the water because the life of the crop is just 7 to 10 days. For the first 5 days the energy to grow is obtained from the seed. During the next 5 days, will the fodder require sunlight to grow? Only if plants are grown beyond 21 days would nutrients be required to be added to the water. Hydroponic systems were supposedly used in hanging gardens of Babylon and the floating gardens of the Aztecs of Mexico. Marco Polo also mentions about floating gardens in China. In recent history US President Richard Nixon's crackdown on drugs along the Mexican border, Operation Intercept, had the unintended effect of jump-starting a burgeoning American and Canadian industry for hydroponic marijuana. What is a hydroponic fodder machine? Hydroponic machines grow fodder from seeds spread in trays using LED lights, mist irrigation and air conditioning. Such enclosed machines are unnatural because the plants are not exposed to natural sunlight and natural environment. It is also unsustainable because of the very high cost of the machine and also because it consumes a lot of electricity and water.
There is a huge difference between hydroponic crops and hydroponic fodder because hydroponic fodder is harvested in just 7 to 10 days while crops take about 3 months and has higher cost, maintenance and planting harvesting and even use of fertilizers and pesticide methods. Advantages of hydroponic fodder are 1. Less requirement for water and land, maximum yield in smallest possible area. 2. No need for nutrients, fertilizers, pesticides. 3. No need for climate control and electricity. 4. Better immunity, digestion, health and heat cycles equals lower veterinary cost. 5. Complete quality control on the fodder. 6. Reduced labor, silage and transporting cost. 7. Easy to protect from bad climate like snow or rain. 8. 7x yield of hydroponic fodder is approximately 7 times the original input. 1 kg seeds produces about 7 kg fodder, even in bad weather the cattle isn't short of fodder. Different seeds can be grown each day for rotation of fodder which will help improve the health of the cattle. Open Air Hydroponic Fodder System combines the benefit of hydroponics with the benefits of natural farming. It is easy and economical to set up. It does not use electricity. It does not use nutrients. Very less water is used in this system. More natural and much more healthy than hydroponic fodder machine. 500 square feet area can grow fodder for 50 to 100 Indian cows. This is how you do it. On day 1 wash seeds properly to remove any molds, fungus or bacteria. Drain away water and soak the seeds overnight in water. 7 kilo seeds for 7 trays. On day 2, drain away the water and spread evenly on the tray. Make sure to leave some space at one end for the water to flow out to the below tray. The roots could block these holes if grown too close to the edge. Set up multiple trays one below the other to allow water to drain from the top tray to the tray below it. Place the tray on a slope so that the water flows downwards. The trays can be watered using an improvised mugs with shower holes or pre-installed sprinklers, mist irrigation systems. On day 4 harvest can be given to poultry. On day 6 harvest can be given to pigs and rabbits. On day 8 harvest can be given to cows and goats. Disadvantages of open air hydroponic fodder system are 1. One time initial expense. 2. Too much water retention could lead to mold formation. 3. Water cannot be reused many times as it could lead to fermentation. Above all do give the cattle some time out in the sun because without sunlight and exercise the animals will become unhealthy. Advantages of once a day milking. 1. Reduces labor by 50%. 2. Healthier cow will not only give healthier milk but will also produce healthier calf. 3. Healthier calf will go on to produce even healthier calves. 4. No need to bottle feed the calf. 5. Not a big problem if milking is skipped for a couple of days. 6. You and the calf share equal quantities of the milk. Thus it is a human and sustainable practice.